What the heck does that do and why do I need it? That's what Ramona has been asking about her wisdom tooth that she finally decided to get out. My doctor discovered that I have a small cavity in my wisdom tooth and she advised me that the wisdom tooth needs to be removed. Come on in. Ramona came into my office to complain about the lower right tooth. She didn't like the way it was looking and from time to time she was having an irritation in her gum. So Ramona, how are you feeling? Good. Are you comfortable? Perfect. Awesome. So as you see here, there's a dark spot right on the tooth here where the cavity is. And the gum right between the two teeth is definitely inflamed and has some sign of periodontal disease. The first thing I'm going to do is section part of the tooth to allow some space between the two teeth. Here we go. So this is the piece of tooth that we removed initially. And here we have a little room there. Next thing I'm going to do is gently detach the gum from the tooth. We're gonna try to keep this procedure as minimally invasive as possible so that there's a minimum amount of pain and inflammation. It makes for easier healing. I have an instrument here that is supplying pressure underneath the tooth. And here we go, it's moving. We're getting movement in it. Here we go. That was just ready to come out. And this is the cavity right here, the dark spot. What we are going to do is use resorbable stitches to close the gum and also uh, allows for the bleeding to stop. These resorbable stitches uh, usually dissolve within five to 10 days. Removing an impacted wisdom tooth, it really takes about 10, 15 minutes. So for those of you who are afraid of coming in for this procedure, don't be. It'll be over before you know it. Please welcome periodontist Dr. Sandra Moldovan and Ramona just two days after surgery. So only two days, huh? Only two days. How do you feel? Uh, great, excellent. No pain, um, just a little bit swallow, but I'm excellent. And of course the theme of the show is what the heck does that do? And so let's talk wisdom teeth really quickly, Dr. Moldovan. Give us some tips and, and tell us uh, what in the heck does it do anyway? So wisdom teeth erupt around the age of 15 to 17, and normally they don't cause any problems, but some of them stay impacted inside the jaw, and you don't even know you have a problem until you go see a dentist. So I... And explain to people what that means, impacted. Impacted means they actually stay under the gum. They never erupt out of the jawbone. And sometimes they could be partially impacted. If that happens, then it becomes really difficult to clean and you can get cavities and periodontal disease. And the problem is that sometimes you don't even know you have a problem because you don't have any symptoms as a patient. Mm -hmm. So I do recommend as a patient to go in and see your dentist regularly to check on the wisdom teeth after the age of 15, 17. One thing to remember is that uh, the procedure could be very short, 10, 15 minutes, minimal amount of pain, and uh, she was back at work the next day. And with a little nitrous oxide, you don't even, <laughs> don't even remember it. And do you have your tooth? Absolutely. You have I your... have a tooth here to show you, as you could see. Is that um, Ramona's tooth? This is Ramona's tooth. Ooh, that looks, okay. there's a little decay in there, isn't there? Yeah. You looks could like see right here Ooh, that the looks decay. Painful. Ooh. Yes, and that's... So that needed to come out. Are you going to put that on your mantle? <laughs> Travis, it goes under the pillow. Oh. Oh, the tooth, tooth fairy. fairy. I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> so... Take home here is see your dentist regularly, not only for cleanings, et cetera, but you may have to have your wisdom teeth out. Not so bad. Ramona, thanks for coming on the show. Thank Dr. Moldovan, thanks so much. Thank